The news moves fast, and numbers are our language at Statista. I'm Molly. Let's take a look at the numbers behind the headlines for May 2023. This month, you may have heard that global warming could reach the 1.5 degrees Celsius barrier sometime in the next few years. According to the WMO, the UN agency behind the report containing the statement, there is a 66% chance that the world temperature will reach the feared 1.5 degree increase. It is likely that this will only happen in one single year, the year when El Niño occurs. 1.5 degrees is a significant number when it comes to temperature increases, forming the basis of the Paris Agreement. The environment would suffer serious damage even at this point, worsening past an average increase of 2 degrees Celsius. Global warming comes with disastrous consequences. Throughout May, we have witnessed catastrophes directly related to climate change. The Emilia-Romana region of northern Italy was among the hardest hit. On Saturday, May 20th, half a year's worth of rain fell in just 36 hours. The rain fell on a landscape that had been hardened by prolonged drought, resulting in massive floods. Over 36,000 people have been evacuated from their homes, and at least 13 people have lost their lives. As well as Italy, flash floods and landslides have cost the lives of hundreds of people in the Great Lakes region of Africa. In Alberta, Canada, up to 100 wildfires destroyed over 782,000 hectares of land from May 4th to May 20th. In Asia, climate change has led to further weather extremes. Temperatures in Vietnam and Laos reached a scorching 44 degrees Celsius, a new record. Nonetheless, these temperatures come nowhere near the Asia-wide record. History was made in May as the coronation of King Charles III and Queen Camilla marked the formal investiture of their regal power. King Charles III begins his reign following the end of Britain's longest reigning monarchy. The coronation ceremony has remained relatively unchanged for a thousand years. Since 1066, the ceremony has always been carried out in London's Westminster Abbey. The list of attendees counted over 2,000 people. Family members, politicians, other monarchs, heads of state, and religious leaders were all on the guest list. As a state function, the coronation is traditionally paid for by the British public. This time around, the cost is estimated at between 50 and 100 million pounds. This event naturally sparked debate on the pros and cons of the monarchy. A big part of this debate is related to the royals' costs and their astronomical wealth. Between March 2021 and 2022, the royal net expenditure amounted roughly to £102.4 million, a cost covered mostly by the Sovereign Grant Act. Aside from the public funds to provide for the royal family, King Charles III's estimated net worth of £1.8 billion consists of assets such as real estate, jewelry, art, and luxury vehicles. Supporters of the monarch argue that the royal expenses are just a fraction of the income they generate for Britain, especially through tourism. With the advent of King Charles III, changes are expected for the Commonwealth. Already in 2021, Barbados removed the monarch as its head of state, and now countries like Jamaica and Australia might follow. After many centuries, the royal family is still a source of pride for many Britons, and 62% of them believe Britain should continue having a monarchy in the future. During May, Amnesty International released its annual review of the death penalty around the world, publishing some grim findings. The number of known executions hit a five-year high in 2022, with 883 people executed across 20 countries. It is the second consecutive year of increases following several years of decline. On one single day in March, Saudi Arabia alone put 81 men to death, 
for a range of offenses including murder, smuggling weapons, and links to foreign terrorist groups. Shockingly, Saudi Arabia and Iran accounted for close to 90% of all known executions in 2022. However, the reported number of executions is just the tip of the iceberg. Countries, including China, Vietnam, and North Korea, though believed to conduct executions, do not disclose their usage of the death penalty. This means those figures are unavailable in Amnesty International's research. Amnesty International believes that the number of executions in China alone could exceed those of all other nations combined. The number of death sentences imposed each year far outweigh the number of executions. That figure remained relatively stable in 2022, still a far cry from the peak seen in 2016. Looking at the United States, more than 2,000 people are under sentence of death, with nearly 30% of them located in California. That state hasn't carried out any executions since 2006. Despite the alarming spike in figures, 2022 also saw some positive developments, with six countries either abolishing or limiting use of the death penalty. Kazakhstan, Papua New Guinea, Sierra Leone, and the Central African Republic abolished the death penalty for all crimes. Equatorial Guinea and Zambia abolished its use for ordinary crimes. To find out more about these topics and countless more, head over to Statista.com and join us next month for another round of Month in Data.